First came Pfizer, after that Moderna threw its vaccine hat in the ring. Then in November last year, AstraZeneca announced that its vaccine was also effective in fighting the coronavirus following clinical trials. The safety profile looks rather good and reassuring. And importantly, we are seeing good immune responses in almost everybody. The British-Swedish vaccine triggered new hope. Unlike its rivals, it's cheaper and can be stored at normal temperatures of 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. As AstraZeneca's doses were rolled out around the world, hiccups came. In January, it announced that it would slash deliveries to the EU by 60% due to production issues. The shortfall sparked uproar from the bloc's officials. Vaccine developers have moral, societal and contractual responsibilities which they need to uphold. To add to the vaccine's woes, some countries like France and Germany even recommended that doses should not be administered to people over 65 due to limited scientific data. But they went back on their decision earlier this month. The UK quickly came to AstraZeneca's defence. I think that the uh, MHRA, our own authorities, have made it very clear that they think the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is uh, very good and, uh, and, and efficacious. They think that uh, it is uh, effective across uh, all age groups. AstraZeneca has also come under fire in recent weeks, following reports that 37 people who were inoculated then had blood clots. The EMA is investigating whether there is a link between the vaccine and these incidents. Several European countries have decided to suspend AstraZeneca's use altogether, pending the decision.